just came back from Beijing, China. The uh, purpose of the trip was uh, mostly to uh, meet with my fiance and her parents. Uh, side, side portion of the trip was checking out, of course, all things electric in terms of transportation in China. Uh, saw some very interesting things and I'd like to share some of those with you. For starters, let me start off by saying I really hate this couch. Uncomfortable. So anyways, uh, in China we saw many different electric vehicles and some of you might remember my uh, video from last year when I was uh, in, in uh, Chengdu and Dujanian during Spring Festival or Chinese New Year for the rest of the world. And uh, we visited Tesla China. I also showed uh, me, Tesla, the largest world, at the time, world's largest Tesla store in Chengdu, China. Uh, as well as I showed you a little preview of different electric vehicles, small ones that I saw around the area. Well, apparently as we progressed into a larger city such as Beijing, because we all know Beijing is one of the smallest cities in the world, 22 million people, um, you know, things get a little different. So, uh, just some things that I saw. Uh, of course, we had Teslas. Uh, we had uh, other electric cars such as, uh, um, you know what, I didn't see any uh, BYD I can never pronounce it the correct way. Biadi, I think is how they pronounce it there. Biadi. Yeah, Biadi. Uh, there are some other brand of electric cars, which I'll let uh, Chalet pronounce those for you all. She's not here, but she's in the video as my fiance. And uh, let's see, we had battery powered bus, overhead wired powered buses. Uh, we had electric scooters, electric motorcycles, electric rickshaws, electric mini cars, electric three wheel cars, uh, electric high speed trains, bullet trains, and let's see what else, what other electric transportation do we have? I think that covers it. Does that cover it all? I don't know. Let's find out. So keep on watching and. Uh, and uh, let's see, I'll just sit back and enjoy. Uh, oh yeah, we did find a, uh, a Model S for sale at a Lamborghini dealer. Uh, it was used, uh, VIN number in the 50,000s, uh, single motor, no tech, uh, textile seats. Uh, wasn't even performance models, 80, just a plain old 85. Uh, very beat to heck. And uh, if you do the currency conversion, it was selling for, I think it was around 107,000 US dollars. Uh, not to mention that we could have just walked over to a Tesla dealer store and gotten a brand new one, uh, 70D for less than that. So let's just get down to it. Enjoy the show, people. VIN number 122,000, 2,400 cars newer than my current 90D. That is a 70 with autopilot. Beautiful blue.
Go ahead. I don't know how to say it. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful curve and uh, enough space. Do you think one of these would get you to drive? Yes, I want to drive, but I couldn't. Maybe Model 3, the small one? Yes, most of the small one. My family is so excited now, right? Yes, we are at the Tesla store. Where exactly are we? Mm -hmm. Beijing Hua Mo store. The Beijing yeah. Hua, Hua Mao. Mao. Yeah. Beijing Hua Mao yeah. store. Yeah. In, uh, it's inside a shopping mall here, very big shopping mall, very beautiful shopping mall. Yes. Uh, a little have, small. <laughs> Okay. A little small. But well, it's still beautiful. Beautiful? Yes. No um, coffee? Yeah, they don't have coffee at this yes, location. Yes, no coffee. <gasps> so small. So small. The, the store is very small. It's only got uh, two Model S's here. Mm -hmm. Right outside, um, they have, uh, I think it was three or four high power wall stations using the Type 2 my keys, which is the same as the European uh, plug, not like the US and Japan plug. <laughs> well, Japan uses the same power system as US. So it's a little different, so they use oh, a different okay. flow. Of course, the, uh, the U.S. one is Tesla's own design, much more beautiful. Yeah. But, uh, oh, this one has leather seats. Mine doesn't have the leather seats. I don't like the leather. That's why it seemed different. Yeah. I don't like leather. You feel comfortable? Yes, very comfortable. This is a little different. So you, you, you like the Model S? Yes. Excited to go driving with me? Mm-hmm. Very road, excited. Lots of road trips. Mm-hmm. The interior is a little different than, uh, than the USA ones. Just a little different. Uh, center screen. Everything's pretty much the same, only in Chinese. No sport English. mode. Sport. Regeneration on high. Range mode on. It can <laughs> drive by himself. This one? Why is the seat so... Oh, it's leather. That's why. It's going to say the seat's too warm. What's that say? High? Low. Low? Okay, yeah. we want low. <clears throat> uh, okay, low. Mm -hmm. low. Yes, very nice. This one, yes, this one has autopilot. Okay. Yeah. I think. No keys? Nope, no keys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have mine. That's my weapon. Let's see, autopilot assistance features. Mm -hmm. I can't remember these without an English. <laughs> this is new to me. Yeah. All the other ones. Okay. Energy. Yes. Okay, we can choose English. Oh! We learned something new. They have a toggle on the Chinese cars, so you can switch between English and Chinese. Oh, you turn on cleaning mode. <laughs> I don't know what happened. What did you press? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, it's restarting. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. It won't run anybody over. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little more high end here. They come with these leather <laughs> leather books. We don't have that in the U.S. They got rid of that. You don't have that? No. They just give us the owner's manual. Mm -hmm. Way back when, when they first started, they used to give uh, a, a nice envelope. Mm -hmm. I would like one of these. And made in USA. Yeah, made in USA. You know what I find? Everything in China is made in USA. Or yeah. California. Everything in USA is made in China. Yeah. They also have these, which I believe is... How do you have Oh, I know. This is for the uh, under the hood, um, so that way they probably took this off so no one can get locked underneath the hood because there's more room underneath the okay. hood. Okay. Yeah. yeah I know. So amazing vehicle. Yes. Oh. Classy. Yeah, the worst spot for a couple hours. Yes. <sighs> okay. mm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so dry. You, you know, you're, you're telling this about my, my view. Yes, I have dry skin on my elbows. 
Yes. Okay. Yes, you're happy now? I tell everybody. I'm very happy. Very happy. Because I'm staying with my honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can browse the internet. Look at naughty pictures while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> Energy. If you can connect it to your it's phone. Dangerous. Well, the car drives itself. Oh. oh. Gotcha. Yes. And okay. rear camera. No. Oh. Queen. Leave the rear camera on. Okay. She's a keeper. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> yes? I keep you? Yeah. So, alright, we're gonna look around a little bit more. Looks like other people want to check out this beautiful 90D. What's the VIN number? This one's newer than mine. This one just arrived. 125,992. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact VIN of my car, but actually, hey, we're at a Tesla store. Brother? Hey, check that out. We're at a Tesla store. And apparently their Wi-Fi uses the same password as every other Tesla store in the world. So that means, let's go log into my car. Mm -hmm. We're going to load up my car. we got the Remote S app going here. There's my car. Your car, yep, yeah. it's in my garage. I have 137 rated miles left, oh. and I was bad. I left the country without plugging it in. Uh -oh. So it's in my garage, but I did that on purpose because I'm going to summon my vehicle while I'm on an airplane over the Antarctic, uh, over the Arctic. So, okay, anyways, uh, my car is number, where is it? It's supposed to be here. Mm -hmm, this one? No, that's how many miles. Oh. Where's my VIN number? Oh, there, wait, killer watt. I named my car killer watt. <laughs> my car is 124,000. 392. So 124,392. This one's 125,992. Older than it. This car had to have just arrived probably about two weeks ago. Oh. That's how new this car is. Okay. Given yeah, about three weeks by boat to come to China. Mm -hmm. So this, this car is probably about one month old and probably just got here three weeks ago. Okay. 17 miles or, or kilometers. All right. Well, should we head out? Yeah. Maybe we'll check out another one. This is one of their smaller stores. Mm -hmm. um, I'll do a little preview around, and uh, maybe if we have time, if we have time, we got a lot on our schedule. We'll try another larger Beijing store. Yes, yeah. we'll try another. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go for a test drive. There's nothing like going for a test drive in China. Much more exciting. For a moment, I will ask the sales, which is uh, another store. Okay. Another store. All right. Say bye bye.
we just left a luxury car dealer, as you can uh, probably not see on this Ferrari, Zimbabwe Maserati. Street. What is it? Zimbabwe Street. Zimbabwe Street. Yeah. Uh, there was a Maserati and Lamborghini dealership yes. over there. Oh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. And I also have Jeep, GMC. I mean, this is supposed to be luxury cars over here. So. We walk in. First, I just wanted to see some of the Lamborghinis they had. They had a poorly wrapped one that was supposed to look like stainless steel. It would have probably have been maybe a thousand dollar wrap job in the U.S. Completely ruined the Lamborghini. Uh, then they had a Mercedes Benz with uh, DeLorean style doors. Also, eh, that one actually looked pretty good considering that it was a cheaper vehicle. They did a good job with that one. Then I noticed over on the side they had a 85, a Tesla 85. Uh, one of the first had a VIN number of about 51,000. And uh, VIN number of about 51,000. And it was one of the first ones off the line with the autopilot hardware. And it was just a straight standard 85. Uh, you could tell it was heavily used uh, and seen um, much Chinese bed driving. And of course, I aim the camera at the road, and there's absolutely more cars driving down the road now. Oh, there they go. For some reason, traffic seems to have ceased over here. So, I had Charlotte ask, how much for said 85? Mind you, it was at least, uh, oh, it was a 2014 September, right after they switched over to the autopi well, autopilot hardware. They are selling that car for over 100,000 US dollars. A two-year-old used 85, not even a P85, not even an 85D or P85D. And it didn't even have leather seats. It had the textile seats. No options, no features. Wow. But you know what? Someone will probably buy it because they're crazy. BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Tesla. Oh. The first one I actually see on the road. Oh, timing, good. I scare, yeah. I scare you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a P85. That yeah. used to be the fastest. Yeah. Now it's not. Now the 90D is the faster. Very nice. Red calipers. Mm. Autopilot hardware. Very good. Shiny. Let's see, no autopilot, but it has the parking sensors. Very well kept, very well kept. Shiny paint, 47,539. Very nice. Careful. Yes. 19 inch tires, the Goodyear Eagle RSA2s. Very nice. What do you think, it looks good? This is what mine looks like. Yes, very, very nice. Okay. <laughs> what so, are you doing? I'm crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So, I just had to tell you all about the very overpriced Model S for sale at a Lamborghini dealership. Crazy, crazy pricing. The brand new ones at the Chinese Tesla dealerships weren't even that much. What's up? We'll probably buy. Hello. Hi. Hi.
a big store. Big store? Yeah. Mm. Mm. What mall are we at? Mm? Tell everybody what mall we're at. Fang Tao Di Chao Fu. Chao Fu. Chao Fu. Yeah. That's the big motor. Oh. Uh-huh. Hello. Yeah. New style here. Yeah. Let's see. That no coffee. No coffee? Yes. Oh. Okay. This one, 122,787. Let's see. So oh, they have the new rim style. <laughs> Let's see another ninety. No, it's a seventy. Seventy D. Oh, I know the number. How big the battery? Yeah. Very nice big store. Very busy here. Well, I found my first non-Tesla. Hi, say hi. Hello. Uh, we found our first non-Tesla electric car charging station. Mm. I got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it appears to be Taremo. DC fast charge. Yes, Taremo. What is it? What kind of car? Beichi. Beichi? Yeah. Huh. Wait, that's the taxi that's picking us up now, right? Yeah. Beichi? Yes. We are being picked up in a Beichi taxi. So DC fast charging. Very cool. State grid. Wow. Be careful. Yes, very powerful. Finally, someplace in the world where Charemo appears to be reliable, although yet falling apart at the same time. <laughs> awesome. Surprisingly, these are the first non... Well, these are the first electric cars other than the ones at the Tesla that are electric. Very cool. Beijing Their car. I like. I wonder how far they go. <laughs> that one's an EV160 and this one is EV150. Yeah. I'll have to do some research. <laughs> yeah. Electric. Electric taxi. Yes, electric taxi. All right. Mm. Can you ask him how far, how many kilometers it goes on a charge? How many kilometers? Yes. Is it 
加完了，就是那个就充满了电，能开多久啊？这个续航是一百五十公里。一百五十公里需要充多长时间的电？Quickly charge for one hour. Ah,、uh, more than one hour.、Mm-hmm. Can drive one hundred and fifty kilometers. Black. Very nice. Mhm. It's black. Of course, it's nice. So the first. Electric car that not only see but ride in is going to be our electric taxi. Yeah.、Mm. Very cool. The China is very kind of electrical car when you just want to know the other. Yes. BYD、mm-hmm. and the third is this Beijing car. Only three. Oh, and then Tesla.、Uh, Now Tesla. Very nice. Nice.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Magical.、Mm. To take this. You can tell the fuel drives different. <laughs> you feel it drives better. Which is right up there,、yeah. and then we saw the sign、uh, on the road with an、uh, EV station、yeah. with an arrow. So we just kept following the arrows down the street, and eventually we saw this. And oh, that is solar canopy, solar electric. So、um, this is actually the police department. The sign is that police department. Huamao apartment. Hmm. Huamao. Okay. No English. Oh. Le le. Oh, these are rental car. You can rent these,、oh. right? Le share.、Oh. Yes. So we found this. They have charging station. Le share. So we can rent these. Yes. No. Maybe. Maybe. I will take a picture and I will look online. And they have the charging station. How much does it cost? Okay, point eight seven one. For how much do we get? Is that for time limit? Tell us power. Let's see what kind of it. Mine keys type two.、Mm-hmm. European and Asian style requires RFID card. Nobody's plugged in. But I think this is nobody's plugged in because. These are mostly private spaces. The fire extinguishers. <laughs> That's like the taxi we took, right? I don't know.、Mm. But they have. Since there are so many charging point, AC charger. Oh, Chademo. Japanese charging, DC fast charge. No. Wait. Yes. That looks strange. This must be Charimo. Yeah, it is Charimo. Charimo Station. It's not the.、Uh, S- definitely not the SAE. But three hundred and thirty kilometer only costs that much. Yeah. That's very cheap. Yes,、yeah, very cheap. 
That is very, very cheap. Jay Lee. Jay Lee? Yeah. Oh, Geely. Yeah, Geely. We, we call it Geely. Warwolf. Yes. Oh. They made very bad motorcycles. Yes. <laughs> so they have this uh, for fast charging. It's very cheap. So 11. 11.88 RMB. Let's do the conversion. That's for. Does it say how long that you could charge for for that much? Uh, okay. So, what is what does that say? Okay, so 11.88, how many U.S. dollars? That would be... <coughs> okay, so that's $1.83 U.S. So does that say you can go 330 kilometers? 20 solid. 20 solid. U.S. dollar. 20 solid. No, that's a dollar. No. 20 solid. No. Eleven thousand or eleven point eight eight one dollar and eighty three cents. Uh, one point eight three. Okay. But what's the limit? What's the restriction say? GB. Okay. No, 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 no. What's what's that? Okay. Uh, okay. Let me think. Uh, one hundred percent charge while drought. Three hundred thirty kilometer. Oh, okay. So a very long range electric car. Oh, it's an advertisement. Yes. And then that's the cost for charging. Yes. It's I the see. Price. Yes. It's okay. The for the station to the charge. Price, the, the car is really. Okay, so they let you charge as long as you want. Yeah. For eleven point eight eight RMB. Yeah. Okay, so for so car. So you can charge as if you put, if you have a Geely, you can charge for one eleven point eight eight for as yeah. long as you want. So that would only be then a dollar and eighty three cents uh, for a full charge. Very cool. Now, since this does use the uh, the Chademo standard, even a U.S. car could Chademo here using the Tesla Chademo adapter. But since the stations use the Meineke's Type 2, and it's get, starting to get dark out at sunset, and there's no lights on under here. Um, an American car could not. You'd need the European or Asian-style car. But uh, there are currently people making adapters to adapt Type 2 to J1772 and J1772 to Type 2. So apparently these, I, I'm pretty sure these are rental cars. If I knew that, I would have rented one of these. We could go all over. Maybe you can telephone this number. And then, yes, yeah, you rent maybe we can drive a car. Yes. Well, next time. But this is very interesting. I hope you all are enjoying. Yeah. Uh, we're finding a lot more EV things here in Beijing yeah. than I did in Dujanian and I Chengdu I last year. Okay, I'm going to show, show my viewers some more of the, the building here. Um, this whole canopy here, and their security camera has been watching us, apparently. Um, this whole canopy under the red is solar. So um, I doubt it's enough, does not look like enough to fully charge, but I'm sure... It is still feeding into the grid, back feed into the grid, which is probably why charging rate is so cheap. So let's follow the connections here. I'm just surprised they're not plugged in, except Union Pay. Very interesting. Hmm. Earthquake Administration of Chaoyang District. Now, I'm trying to see where the solar goes down to, and I just don't. Hmm. 
There is the sign there. I think that everything over here goes to that box, underground power. Hmm. Yes, power box, underground, and it's probably hard to see on the camera, but that is the, uh, it says an underground electric, all, all of those. Very, very interesting, awesome. This was a neat find. And these are some interesting Chinese uh, these, um, we did a taxi and something similar. This has approximately, I think, about 150 miles per charge. Very neat. Very impressive. And this was a good find. Good find, right? Yeah. Yes. What did they say? What? Rented. Rented? How much to rent? Yeah. This car, mm -hmm. an hour is, we will cost uh, 15. 15 RMB. That's it? Yeah. That's so cheap. Yeah. This this car yes. and another one is 20 RMB for an hour from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. and the night is very cheaper. This one is five an hour. Five? Yeah. Five RMB. Yeah. Okay. Just for all of you watching, let's see. Oh, I lost. Let's see here. I lost my Wi-Fi. We're a little bit away from the hotel. I did not get a Chinese SIM card this time. So you say five? 2.5. 2.5 at night. Yes. 2.5 equals 38 U.S. cents. No, 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 no. 15 remain be about... During the daytime. About, about, uh, about, about tr translate USA is, U.S. dollar is 2.5. I know, but you said at night 2. Po oh, but okay, well, how, you said how much at night? 15. Okay, fi at night is 15. Night, 5. Only five. Nah. Okay. Daytime fifteen. So two dollars and thirty one cents an hour for daytime. Yeah. You know what? Five. Only five. Actually that is a little that's about the price of in the US for renting a car during the daytime. Five. At night is five. Night is five. So seventy seven cents an hour yes. at night. That is a good price. Yeah. And considering no fuel. No cha no no other no other cost. No, no other, other cost. cost. Yeah. Because you use Including this. Including the charge. Yes. Including the charge. Now we know. Yes. This one and another but do hireman. We have, but do we have to show driver's license to rent? Yeah. I don't, I can't, I don't have Chinese driver's license. If oh, you we could rent in your friend's name. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can show your, some lessons to the company. Mm-hmm. We will, we will. But I don't have Chinese license. Yeah, I know. If you have. I know, if I have. If you have, you can drive it. Very, very uh, cheap. I wonder what I'd have to do to get a Chinese driver's license. Okay. Or we just use your friend's driver's license. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I can drive it but a few years ago. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't have driver's license. Okay. Okay. So very cool. We can rent these cars. So that would be why it doesn't matter if these are plugged in. They have some empty yes. spaces, um, but um, apparently you need to plug in, which is, I guess, no big deal since uh, the car rental company probably also owns, yes. does own the charging stations. So that's why they don't care if it's plugged in or not. So very cool. Yeah, very cool. All right. Go. Let's go. Okay. All right. And once again, it is solar power. Yes. How do you say... <laughs> okay, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. <laughs> okay. I cannot say that. I can say that. EV charging station. Yes. Okay. You matter Smile, cheese.